Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I hope you're doing well today and my name is Lukman and welcome to this quick tip video tutorial for Unity and in this video I just want to compare the speed of an array versus a list and I'm pretty sure you can imagine uh, what the difference is that yeah that there's an obvious difference between the two but I wanted to show how much by so that'll help you and you can do these tests yourself so then you can help yourself also understand you know when you just can't uh, you just have to let go of the list you can't use it you need to use the array especially when you have a large amount of data when you need to save and load it makes a big difference in uh, the two of them so the list has a whole lot of features that make it so much easier to use, especially that you can just replace any index item quite easily, add items to a list, and you don't have to do any copying or anything like that. I mean, there's a lot of advantages to a list, but if you have a large amount of data and you need to save and load, uh, then you really start to feel it. Or if you're actually manipulating that data and, you know, uh, reading and writing to it fairly often. So let's uh, work on the script here. So I'm going to declare a few variables public. I'm going to just make this one the array, public byte array, and I'm just going to call this my byte array. And I'll uh, sort it out in the inspector. I'll uh, pretty much give it the number of elements it should have in the inspector. And same for the list. So I'll say a public list, and this is going to be of the type byte, and I'm going to call this uh, byte list uh, is equal to a new list of that type. Okay. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to populate uh, these, the array and the list. That's all I want to do. So, okay, what I want to do here is just to do two simple operations, uh, which is to fill this array and to fill the list. And at the, while I'm just here and I remember, I'm going to do using Unity, uh, well, rather system.diagnostics because I want to use the stopwatch the like I showed you in that uh, other video. Uh, about knowing how fast your code runs. So I'm just going to use the same thing here. And let's go ahead and say uh, void test array speed. And I'm going to make another method here void test list speed. Okay. And then in this one, I'm going to say for int i is equal to zero, i less than uh, the byte list dot count and i plus plus and all I'm going to do is simply in for each entry I'm just gonna put in something there so byte list uh, is equal to oh whoops gotta put in the index is equal to one something really daft and simple like that and I'll just copy this Oh, well, why don't I just instantiate the stopwatch first and I'll just replace the, just copy the code and replace it up there. So stopwatch, I'm gonna say stopwatch is equal to new stopwatch. And next I'm gonna start the stopwatch, dot start, okay. And then after the operation, stopwatch, dot stop. And then unity engine, dot debug, dot log. And I'm just going to say, uh, you know, it's the stopwatch dot elapsed ticks. All right. So now, why don't I just copy all of that and just drop it into here and just change this from byte list to byte array. Okay. And then I'm going to run both of these in the start method. So test array speed and test list speed right and get rid of the update method okay so that looks all right uh, I guess everything's fine so I need to go into unity and I actually need to define uh, these two items here so I'm gonna just put like 10,000 items in there it's, it's empty and into the list as well 10,000 items and then just minimize that and let's give it a go all right so that's the array speed and that's the list speed. So let's do that again. See what we get. Okay, do it again. And well, you get the idea. I mean, you have to keep doing this and collect the data and then you'll see the difference uh, over many, many tests. Like if I put in 100,000 entries, it will probably get pretty slow there. So if I do that, it'll take some time uh, to fill that in. 
So I'll just put another zero there. And it'll just take a little while to actually fill that array. We'll make it to that size. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and run that again. Okay, so that's array versus list. Array versus list. So as it gets bigger, you can see the difference a bit more clearly. And look, yeah, it looks like about that the array is with that size of an array, you know, 100,000 items and 100,000 items in the list. The array is about, takes about half the amount of time. I guess there will be some difference as well, depends on your machine, on your CPU as well. All of these things will have an impact on just how fast uh, it operates as well. So I guess on my computer, that's what it looks like. So there's a definite, definite advantage for me to use arrays for a large amount of uh, data handling. All right, so that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, then uh, then yeah, please do subscribe to me. And actually, why don't you write to me as well? Let me know what you would like to see. Any uh, techniques that you've heard of as well? If you want me, to, if you want to share them and. I'm quite happy to learn and as well show them here so you can let me know about them or uh, if you've got something that you're not so sure about and you want tested, do you want someone to look into it, you can let me know and I'll try and have a look at, into it and you know, like if, it's, if I can make a tutorial on it, then I will. Alright, thanks very much for watching.